Hello everybody, what is going on today? Buddy Blackford here, another Photoshop CS6 tutorial, and today we're going to be learning about using the stroke layer style. And a stroke basically applies an outline around an object, um, around the edges, and um, it's a really nice tool that is used a lot in design and um, other things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, put out an object or some text or something, and then let's go to stroke. And you can see already that there is an outline around this. Um, here is stroke right here. And then we've got uh, our different properties. We've got size, which increases the size of the stroke, the outline. So basically stroke stands for outline. Um, our position here, inside. So now it's on the inside. And if I make this a little smaller, you'll see what it means. So now we've got a stroke on the inside. So here was outside. Now this is inside. So what it's doing is um, the actual blue part of the uh, of the image here is actually where the stroke is, and it's just coming from the inside, from the edge and going inside instead of starting from the edge and going outside. So it kind of cuts into the blue. Uh, and then we've got center here. Um, which leaves a space in between so it's going from the inside and the outside so most of the time everybody uses outside and um, we've got our blending modes here um, you don't have to I mean if you need to know what blending modes are check out the uh, tutorial about blending modes I did a four-part series there we've got our opacity to uh, lower the transparency as you can see there and then we've got our fill type. We've got color, gradient, and pattern. So here's where you change your color. So I could change this to what I want, anything I want there, whatever, green. And then um, we've got gradient. We can change it to a, any kind of gradient that we want to use, like that. And um, we've got our angle of our gradient. You can change that around to randomize it a little more. We've got a couple. Uh, different styles to use for our gradients and um, pretty much you just uh, mess with the styles and see if you can find something that you like um, align with layer which um, aligns it from this part of the layer to this part from it uses the layer as a guide if you turn it off it uses like the um, whole thing as a guide um, dither uh, not really doing too much here with uh, the dither because it's such a small stroke and then we've got our scale to uh, increase the scale of our gradient. So it's just only being applied to from here to here, and then just the outsides aren't even being used. So let's go to the next one, which is pattern. And then that way you can select uh, an image pattern to put onto it here. And now we've got our little hippie sign here. So that's basically um, all there is for stroke. Most of the time you're not going to use pattern or gradient. You're probably going to just use a solid color, normally uh, black or another complementary color to this. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching this one. You guys are now pros on using the stroke. So go ahead and put it on your projects, and it'll be awesome looking. See you guys later, and have a good day.